Once upon a time. All night, Ruby moans and sniffles. I pace my domain. I don't want to fall asleep, in case she needs something. Ivan, Bob says gently, get some sleep, please, for your sake and for mine. Bob can't sleep unless he is on my stomach. I hear a stirring. Ivan, Ruby calls. I rush to my window. Ruby, are you all right? I miss Aunt Stella, Ruby sobs. And I miss my mom and my sisters and my aunts and my cousins too. I know, I say, because it's all I can think of. Ruby sniffles. I can't sleep. Do you know any stories the way Aunt Stella did? Not really, I admit. Stories were Stella's specialty. Tell me a story about when you were little, Ruby pleads. She puts her trunk between the bars. Please, Ivan. I scratch the back of my head. I don't remember things, Ruby, I admit. It's true, Bob says, trying to be helpful. Ivan has a terrible memory. He's the opposite of an elephant. Ruby lets out a long, shivery breath. Oh, well, that's okay. Night, Ivan and Bob. I listen to Ruby's soft sobs for long, horrible minutes. Then I hear myself saying, Once upon a time, there was a gorilla named Ivan. And slowly and deliberately, I try to remember. The Grunt. I was born in a place humans call Central Africa, in a dense rainforest, so beautiful, no crayons could ever do it justice. Gorillas don't name their newborns right away, the way humans do. We get to know our babies first. We wait to see hints of what might yet be. When they saw how much she loved to chase me around the forest, my parents decided on my twin sister's name, Tag. Oh, how I love to play tag with my sister. She was nimble, but when I got too close, she would leap onto my unsuspecting father. Then I would join her and we would bounce on that tolerant belly until he gave us the grunt, the rooting pig sound that meant enough. That game never got old, although my father might have disagreed. Here's a couple of questions, guys. How does Ivan say gorillas name their babies? So how do gorillas name their babies, according to Ivan? And how did Ivan and his sister get their names? Mud. It didn't take long for my parents to find my name. All day long, every day, I made pictures. I drew on rocks and bark and my poor mother's back. I used the sap from leaves. I used the juice from fruit. But mostly, I used mud. And that is what they called me, mud. To a human, mud might not sound like much, but to me, it was everything. And again, the same question, how did Ivan and his sister get their names? Protector. My family, which humans called a tr call a troop, was just like any other gorilla family. There were 10 of us, my father, the silverback, my mother and three other adult females, a juvenile male called a blackback, and two other young gorillas. Tag and I were the babies of the group. We squabbled now and then, as families will, but my father knew how to keep us in line with a simple scowl. And for the most part, we were happy to do what we were meant to do, to feed and forage and nap and play. My father was a master at leading us to the ripest fruit for our morning feast and the finest branches for our night nests. He was everything a silverback is meant to be, a guide, a teacher, a protector, and nobody could chest beat like my father. Let's look at that word squabbled. We squabbled now and then as families will. To squabble. A squabble is a noun, a noisy quarrel about something petty or trivial, family squabbles. Um, but in this sentence, it's, whoops, in this sentence, it's a verb because it's an action that a family is doing. They're squabbling. So they're arguing, fighting about something. A perfect life. Gorilla babies and elephant babies and human babies are not so different, except that a gorilla gets to spend the day riding on his mother's back like a cowboy on a horse. And here's a little note that this is a simile, and this is the one I'm gonna have you guys draw for today's assignment. A gorilla gets to spend the day riding on his mother's back like a cowboy on a horse. It's a pretty great system from the baby's point of view. 
Slowly, carefully, a young gorilla begins to venture farther and farther away from the safety of his mother's arms. He learns the skills he will need as an adult. How to make a nest of branches, weave them tightly or they will fall apart in the middle of the night. How to beat your chest, cup your palms to amplify the sound. How to go vining from tree to tree, don't let go. How to be kind, be strong, and be loyal. Why would it be important for a gorilla to be strong, kind, and loyal? And what does that word loyal mean? Growing up gorilla is just like any other kind of growing up. You make mistakes, you play, you learn, you do it all over again. It was, for a while, a perfect life. What are the things a gorilla must learn as he gets older? So take a look at this section up here. What sorts of things did Ivan need to learn as he was getting older? The end. One day, a still day when the hot air hummed, the humans came. Vine. After they captured my sister and me, they put us in a cramped, dark crate that smelled of urine and fear. Somehow I knew that in order to live, I had to let my old life die. But my sister could not let go of our home. It held her like a vine, stretching across the miles, comforting, strangling. We were still in our crate when she looked at me without seeing and I knew that the, fi the vine had finally snapped. And here's a question. Whoops. Where is it? What happened to Tag?